A paper was released last month detailing the global electric circuit action, including the magnetospheric and ionospheric components. This is important because space weather is not always considered a factor in the global electric circuit, and yet nothing influences the current characteristics more. Traditionally, the global electric circuit is a simple cycle where electricity comes down to the ground under fair weather high pressure and is released back up to the ionosphere in storms. There is a well agreed upon ambient voltage potential up there, but the problem with almost every model is its homogeneity across the globe and relative stability in the face of being an electromagnetic interface with space. In fact, the day versus night side changes are about all you're going to find in the models, even as we now know that solar flares may join solar energetic particle events and geomagnetic storms as a modulator of the lower ionosphere. The particle and magnetospheric storms have long been known to affect that region, and even as we knew high-frequency radio propagation is affected by solar flares, we did not know that the fluctuations of electrons could reach an order of magnitude in the D region. This now means that the three primary space weather influences on Earth, solar flares, energetic particles, and geomagnetic events, all drive major energetic instabilities just above what we call weather. A great example of the weather action occurred in 2015 when a solar energetic particle rise early in the UTC day on October 29th, followed by a solar flaring rise the next day at the same time, while the sun was up over the Middle East, the ionosphere blinked a low-pressure cell into an unfathomably rare cyclone. They had never had two hit Yemen in one year, and yet, just later that week, the same active region kicked off another uptick that did not stop, including a solar energetic particle event overhead once more, and the only twin cyclone events in Yemen's history took place. In this weather learning playlist, we've seen the correlations like this in time, and now we're beginning to get excellent mechanisms for electrical modulation at both the tropics and higher latitudes. Up next in this playlist, we'll see an extra tropical mechanism that almost certainly can play at tropical latitudes as well. Be safe, everyone.